There are horrible things that happen every day, whether it be in the industry or not. Mentally, yeah. emotionally, sexually, financially. And you have to be willing to sacrifice anything that you think you might benefit from a career etc and say no the much loved 90s r&b star maya is finally talking about the sudden end to her career right after all the fame that she achieved there's also a lot of gossip about a hush hush fling with jay-z but even more interestingly it appears that jay-z was the one who caused maya's downfall she's hitting the pause button on all those wild tales tied to her name Plus, she's giving us a peek into the not-so-pretty sides of the showbiz world, highlighting how sticking to your guns when it comes to your beliefs might get you pushed to the side. Maya, keeping it classy as ever, didn't throw any shade at anyone, but her fans read between the lines pretty well. Maya didn't reach the superstar status she truly deserved, not because she wasn't talented enough, but because she refused to bend her morals just to fit in with the top names in the industry. So, what exactly did Maya say about stepping away from the spotlight? Was she really edged out because she wouldn't bow down to the industry's heavy hitters? Let's take a closer look and get into the nitty gritty. Back in the late 90s and the early 2000s, Maya Harrison captured everyone's hearts and with chart toppers like It's All About Me and Case of the X, along with her iconic part in the hit Lady Marmalade. But Maya didn't just shine in music. She also made waves in the acting world, showing off her acting talent in movies such as Chicago and Shall We Dance. She collected trophies left and right, bagging a Grammy for Lady Marmalade and a Screen Actors Guild Award for her performance in Chicago. Much like Aliyah, Maya was a powerhouse in singing, dancing, and acting, seemingly on track to super global stardom. Yet trouble with her record label saw Maya slowly fading from public view, which had her fans wondering why she suddenly stepped back. Rumors flew about Jay-Z making a move on her and talks of a blacklist for turning him down. Some even speculated that Beyonce saw Maya as competition, both in their personal and professional lives. So what's the real deal? Let's have a look into Maya's journey to becoming an indie artist before her career ended up getting destroyed by Jay-Z. Initially tied to Interscope Records, Maya was touted as their premier female R&B singer, in the same league as Alaya, Brandy, and Monica. This wasn't a minor thing. Her first album in 1998 was a pretty massive hit, going platinum and selling over 2 million copies worldwide. Maya was making a great name for herself at this point. She had just become a star. But that was just the start. Working with big names like Missy Elliott, Babyface, and Christina Aguilera, Maya turned everything she touched into gold. She released two more successful albums with Interscope, Fear of Flying, and Mood Ring, and also carved out a spot for herself in the acting scene. After her role in the blockbuster Shall We Dance, alongside Richard Gere and Jennifer Lopez, she was all set for her fourth album. It was originally called Control Freak and was expected to drop in mid-2005, but everything changed when Maya left Interscope in the fall of 2005. She moved to Universal Motown next, but things didn't go smoothly. Her Liberation album faced promotional nightmares and eventually leaked online after a screw-up in Japan. Maya didn't take the Universal Motown to court, suggesting that there was more to the story than met the eye. For quite a while, there was a lot of uncertainty around what happened with Maya and why she's never around anymore. It wasn't until her chat with Vlad TV that Maya got real about the tough parts of the music biz. It was here that she also talked about how artists often face pressure to deal with sketchy situations. These often involve shady offers that her fans had been speculating about. She really highlighted the need to stand your ground, pointing out how hard it can be for artists to keep their principles in an industry that's always pushing them. There can be power plays and ultimatums given for the people that hold the power, whether that be toward a female or male artist. Maya also talked about how a lot of artists jump into the game before they've really figured themselves out, which makes it easy for the big shots to twist their arm. She underlined how crucial it is to keep your own space safe, even when it's not easy to see what others are trying to do to you. There are horrible things that happen every day whether it be in the industry or not, mentally, yeah. emotionally, sexually, financially. Maya highlighted how those in charge sometimes take pleasure in using their power to hurt others, pointing out the dangers that lurk within the industry. This is especially dangerous for young artists who are so desperate for success that they might not realize what they're giving up in exchange for fame. 
She pointed out that the big names in the business don't just use their power. They also target those who are most vulnerable. Artists have to be prepared to walk away from opportunities that might seem beneficial if it means compromising their values. When she asked how she managed to avoid such negative influences, Maya shared her simple strategy. She just said no and kept her distance. She also hinted that standing up for herself and refusing to give in to certain pressures probably played a role for her being pushed aside and criticized by others in the music scene. There are some people, <laughs> not everyone, that have huge egos. A while back, rumors began to fly about Maya and Jay-Z possibly having a thing, especially after they worked together on the remix of Best of Me, which dropped in 2000. Tone, one half of the Trackmasters duo who produced the track, told Complex in 2012 that Jay-Z wasn't too happy with Maya's demeanor, feeling like she wasn't thankful enough. According to Tone, Jay-Z got annoyed because he thought Maya didn't fully appreciate the potential hit they had on their hands with his rap edition. Despite this rough start, Jay-Z came back and finished the song. But the talk didn't stop there. It suggested that Jay-Z, who is 10 years older than Maya, might have hit on her and got turned down. This situation painted Maya as unthankful and too much to handle. Jumping ahead to 2014, when stories about Jay-Z stepping out on Beyonce started making rounds, Maya found herself caught up in the gossip once more, linked to an alleged affair with Jay-Z. The buzz caught fire again in 2016 after Beyonce dropped Lemonade, leading fans to wonder if Maya was the Becky with the good hair that Jay-Z supposedly cheated with. Maya didn't let these rumors fly for long, quickly putting them to rest and even hinting at a bit of shade, making it clear she'd never reduce herself to being anyone's side piece. When someone on Instagram asked her directly about an alleged 11-year affair with Jay-Z, Maya responded with a firm, never did, never was, never will, showcasing her self-sufficiency with her own label and management company, her strong faith, and too much respect for herself and the idea of marriage to get caught up in such silliness. Interestingly, this was the very first time Maya had decided to publicly denounce rumors of this sort and be straight with her fans. It didn't take very long for them to start reading between the lines during her interviews, and that's when everyone started to realize what had actually happened. Fast forward to the present, and even though Jay-Z and Beyonce might be more famous and wealthier than Maya, she doesn't regret her decision to step back from the industry to safeguard her integrity. You know, and do things in my own time. You know, my planet might not necessarily rotate around the sun 365 days. It might take me seven years to do something in my own time versus one earth here. This very stance is why Maya continues to be revered and admired by fans globally, who commend her for prioritizing her values over the lure of fame and wealth. Many fans have since expressed their admiration, highlighting how Maya's choice to stick to her principles has earned her lasting respect and love from her audience. One fan on X wrote, I always knew there was a story behind why we didn't get more albums from Maya. She was blackballed by men in the industry, including Jay-Z. We deaf missed out. Recalling Maya's story, another fan wrote, Maya refused to do a record with him because of his ego, so he cussed her out and told her to her face that he was going to end her, which led to her being blackballed. She spoke about in a few interviews, that's why I don't like him, lol. Many people express their concern as to why people keep trusting such industries when there are countless people on record talking about how they were blackballed and mistreated by the industry. Many women have come forward to discuss this incredibly strange circumstance they found themselves in, right at the start of their careers. And it's only the people that didn't bow down who found their careers to be headed into a pretty dark direction. This fan wrote, Watching that Maya interview has me saying again for the upteenth time, why are you trying to get into an industry where you have artists sitting on these podcasts telling you that they didn't fall off? They just weren't down with the freaky stuff. But what do you think? Does Maya deserve more support in her cause? And are the people staying silent complicit in these acts? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below.